Hello and welcome to the LEGO bootleg of SL Toys. This is Jim Bayan or Spirit Wristwatch 2. There's two there. I, I didn't see it. It did uh, another set before, but uh, this comes with the main character. So, yeah. Um, I don't watch this. <laughs> um, if you see my magazine, Quick Looks, you would notice that um, that the past two magazines, Hero and Lucky, gave away um, one of the collector cards. And in Toy Shops, I've seen that. Um, you buy different generations of these little wristwatches and these little discs from blind bags. You put the disc in the watch and it'll make some sort of sound. So the, the, the toy stuff is very similar to Kamen Rider where you get the main belt or, or watch or whatever accessory and then you get these little plugins that you can get these sounds. And the wristwatch, there's, there's, so there's cards, there's little discs and these, these watches to scan them and whatever. I don't watch it, I know nothing about it, uh, but it seems to be quite popular right now in, uh, in Hong Kong anyway. So. So I picked this up because this is quite kind of interesting. SL Toys is not that good, but um, there's some unique pieces here that uh, some people might find interesting or might be able to use in other projects. So that's pretty much the main reason I got it. So anyway, uh, we have uh, Jim Ba Yan, we have uh, We Ifs, and Ga Ban Yan. Side of the box, all these have pretty much the same size, just different color. Bush Inyan, just this orange, <laughs> and um, Robo Yan. So, hey, colorful boxes anyway. Um, even the inside product isn't that good. Uh, top of the box, and the other side. Oh, we got the names all there on the side, very clearly labeled. And just a quick look at the back. If you want to take a close look at the box art, uh, photos of the cards and contents and figures, please feel free to head over to the Flickr link in the video description below. In hot cells, uh, sure. Speed dial racing clouds, and uh, what else does it say on the box? Hmm. Got some uh, attack scores on the. Uh, one side of these boxes, so if they mean anything, so oh well. Like I said, the inside these come with little scorecards, so I'm not sure what, but um, here's one side of the card, and here's the other side. So I don't know, you meant to play a game with it or something, but I have no idea how to uh, do that. Inside there's also a sticker sheet for the, for the disc that you get, and I've applied all the sticker sheets in there very carefully because once I get rid of these, I, I will save on some money on postage, and, and I think I've done, done a pretty good job uh, labeling these. So kids won't have to do that. Whoever picked this up won't have to do it. But yeah, the print on these um, all the non Lego file images are very pixelated, and the resolution is very low. But uh, the actual Lego images of them, like the, the images of the actual figures, is pretty high res in comparison, of course. So you got these discs. I'll put the six discs, put five in the back because the actual figure will stand on them. Oh, there we go. A mm, bit of excess plastic there. Now these. Uh, at first it's been quite well until I put the figure on them. <laughs> so oopsies. So let, let's see, let's uh, let's go let's go start the main character. The orange one no. Red. Yeah. So the image on this right you go, so here we go. So these plates you got a uh, arrow pointing on the on the plate. Let's get the figure off. And you get these three stars that you stick on them, and um, this thing goes in there. Like I said, it does spin pretty well, so see, it does quite a job. Spin twelve, so kudos there. As the figure itself, uh, most of these have two accessories. One of them came free, but I think it's just an error. And the accessory colors do not match the packaging. I think it's random. So uh, they come for plain torso, and they come with a Shinyon, oops, Shinyon style feet. Unplug it, it's a bit tight. So you got the Shinyon style feet there. 
Uh, they come with like a little body armor shield thing for a little hole in the back. So you put the armor on, put the hands in. Now all of these are completely assembled um, piece by piece from the package. You stick this tail on this armor piece and these two little spirit vapors I guess. You, you plug them on and you put the head on. And then you, well, you put it in. So there he is. Uh, the print is <laughs> pretty horrible on the most part. Uh, the ears... He's got a little bite on his ears. Oh no, that's meant to be there. So they, so molding wise, the heads are pretty good anyway uh, for you know what they represent. So uh, these little vapor things, there's a bit of a molding injection thing there. Uh, but the mold's still okay, the tummy's okay. Uh, the entire thing, nothing's too tight, too loose, but there's a bit of an issue there. You see on the arm, there's a bit of a missing plastic there, like it's, it didn't, like it didn't mold too well. But nothing's falling apart. It's just that the print is, like I said, very horrible. Um, all the things are out of line, blurry, and look like they've been scratched up. So, really, <laughs> it's my original intention of getting these is to show off the different new parts that they've put in here. It's still an interesting set for parts because they're unique parts. It's just you really need to paint over it or just remove the paint entirely. He comes with this axe and this mace and uh, those little spike bits on the on the edge. So they're not, they're not, they don't hurt. They're not too sharp so should be safe enough. But yeah there he is. Uh, just a bit off really. Of the bat one, Gabunyan, he does not come with a cape and he's turning out a bit grey more than black. And he comes with a uh, magical flute, no, magical whatever this is. I've seen this in, I've seen some of these parts before from those uh, 12 star sign bootlegs that I did a long time ago. And um, he's got a belt printed there, so yeah, again, um, decent look but just bad print. Uh, next we have Bushinian. There he is. Um, he's got this weird claw arm thing again. I've seen this part before. And he's got a sword. You know, all of these are the same mold pieces, so I can go through them quickly now to this. Next we have Weis or we we ips or whips W E I S S so we we is Hello we is does he have a chip on the ear? Yes he does. Mm -hmm. oh, a chip on the ear. Uh he comes with this transparent piece again, I've seen this piece before. And this little fan-ish spear thing. He's probably got the nicest print so far because he's printed on the white body, so uh, it's quite easy to get away with, <laughs> with, with prints on that. Orange. Now he comes. On the image of orange, his chip on the ears on the other side of the ear, so that's bad molding there. They use the same mold for the heads there. But uh, again, he's printed. This one's printed okay. His eyes are a bit weird. Um, I mean, compared to the other ones, he's okay, but he's still pretty badly printed. And there's an extra sort of spear, arrow, whatever, in there. It's red. Again, both of these are completely different colors from uh, what's on the box. I've only got Robo Yan. He's got a giant claw thing. He's got the Quake logo and this magical staff thingy. And yeah, the colour's nice and all, but uh, again, the print is, uh, leaves much to be desired, although it looks like it's got scratches on him. There you go, Spirit Cats and Spirit Watchers. Uh, <laughs> if you know what the series is, this isn't a bad start. I'm pretty sure no other bootleg is going to be doing them for a while. This isn't as big as Dragon Ball Z, for example, where many companies have done them. So you might have an option later on. I'm pretty sure this is one of those one-off things where only one brand is going to do them. Um, if you can get your hands on this, uh, like I said, it's got lots of unique pieces here, unique weapons, so you can use that for something else. Uh, or if you want to repaint these, then by all means, you should be able to get a decent looking spirit cat figurine going on. 
as for the gameplay gimmicky thing, I'm going to try and spin this now and see how well this spins with the cat and weapons on there. So, um, by the way, these don't actually click in to enable it to spin, they just loose in there. So, well, it still spins okay. Hmm. Uh, I did see this brand with, say, for example, Minecraft and a few other things that they've done. I think they did one with Superheroes and, and uh, Ninjago, I think. Definitely another Minecraft set that also comes with this little disc. So I guess you can cross-play them uh, with the stats and whatever. I have no idea how to play this. Uh, so I guess you get the stats in the box. So attack 560, defense 340 and 800 potential. And then you, I don't know, you spin the disc and then you get the number and, um, yeah, someone's going to tell me this actually relates to anything ever. Because I'm looking at the card and it got, I have no idea, no idea what's going on with that little game. So, um, maybe just use it as a spin dice or something. Oh, invent your own game. So, yeah, uh, plastic mode is fun, new parts, there's a few issues with missing plastic, but there's no loose joints, so no bad clutches, the spin thing spins quite well, and the print is ghastly. <laughs> Subscribe, suggest, and comment below, and of course, take care, and have a nice day, bye.